All right. So start us off. Give us your like first initial like overall impressions of the season. Um, I think it well, it was no surprise that I complained about every twist and turn that was thrown our way and every advantage and how to get them. <laughs> um, but I generally enjoyed it. I thought it was like an interesting twist, like the whole captain's thing. Um, because at first we were like, oh, like, that's great. Like, whatever, the captain will go bring back information. That didn't happen because then Gianna stayed. And we were like, oh, my God, okay. Gianna would have definitely come back. So we were like, now we're just going to keep, like, we're going to keep losing people if we keep winning. So I'm losing my mind being like, let's fucking lose a challenge. And only to find out that everyone had the choice to come back, which is still bonkers to me. And I'm still mad about it. But, um... It, it was good. It it sucked going into um, the merge with, like, so few numbers, even though, like, technically we outnumbered them. Um, it just felt like it was, like, impossible odds. And it's like, why would you not stay with the people you were with for as long as you possibly can? So I get it. It just sucked to be on, like, the the not good end of that. Which, at this moment, I still don't know, like, is that actually what happened? to get me voted out or was it something different that was going on so i'm curious to see <laughs> well what do you think went into you getting voted out my gut reaction boils down to one thing and it's morgan like i immediately put a lot of trust in morgan because i was like lauren and alex are not my path forward if these six are going to keep playing together, I was like, that's not going to do me any good. And getting on call with Morgan, like really was like, okay, like that, that's my pathway forward. So what I think happened was she wasn't my pathway forward. And my gut reaction makes me think that um, they just still stayed together. And that's okay if they, no, well, it's not okay if they did. I would like it better if, like, Alex and Lauren, like, flipped on me or something like that. That would be better for their game. I don't know. It's, it's such a weird feeling because I don't want to be like, oh, my God, it was the right move to vote me out. But, like, in my mind with how my game was going, I was like, oh, it was totally right. Because in my mind, had I made it through that tribal council, I was going to easily be top five for sure. <laughs> Now, when it comes, you had like four advantages in your pocket. <laughs> so when it comes to the advantages, did you feel that confident that you were staying or did you just, what what went into not playing any of these advantages? Um, I think I just believed people. I think that was the problem was I felt like everyone had presented to me like decent information that I would like for sure believe. Or maybe I wanted to believe it. I don't know which one it was. Um, but I mean, Alex and I had like coordinated, like, do we play the, the, his block of vote and my plus a vote. And I didn't put too much thought into that. Cause that felt like a lot of like math and a lot of work for me to do. So I just kept deferring to Alex and being like, Oh, run the numbers. Does this work? And then he was like, no, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then with the idols, it was like, I can only play with the information presented to me, which was it was going to be Marvin or Susie and maybe a vote or two on Jonah. So it's like if whoever was on board to vote me out gave me no reason to think that I was going to be voted out. And I think I said it in my confessional. I was like, at Tribal, I will not play my idol tonight because thinking of my social relationships and like my trust it would have been weird to all of a sudden be like, oh, I have this idol. And then I think I just thought too much that like those people would then not trust me because I kept that information from them. When in reality, it really probably would have just would have been Morgan and Jonah because Alex and Lauren knew I had the one idol, but I wasn't going to talk to them before playing it. And I also felt like at least Lauren or Alex, had they heard my name, would have at least given me some inclination. That was the problem. I never knew that I was an option. Like, and maybe that was like my 
um, naive nature to survivor games. Like you're always an option, but I was like, there's no way that I'm an option here. So it was, it was a little bit of cockiness, but also I didn't want to like play my cards too early. I thought I was in a better spot than I was. Now you're on the jury. So as a juror, what is important for you to see in a winner? Um, owning your game. If you're going to lie and manipulate and steal and what have you, beautiful, excellent. Don't, don't like defer the blame. Um, like own it and then don't apologize for it. Like if you lied to me, you don't have to be like, I'm so sorry that I lied to you. That's the name of the game. Like we all lied. And if you played a perfectly truthful game, I probably wouldn't reward you for it. <laughs> so that on top of, um, and this is what I hope to remember to say when I'm like, you know, a juror questioning is like, I'll basically get the information that I need about what happened the round that I went out. I hate when people use their jury questioning to be like, why did you vote me out? Like, cause only one fucking person can win. So like, duh, but just like, don't pander to jurors. Like that always bothers me when people are like, oh, I really wanted us to go to the end together, but like, I just knew that we couldn't and you turn it into this like big sob story when it's like that's not the game that I'm looking to reward like if you were cutthroat and you lied you need to own that if you were truthful great but that just means that like to me you didn't really have to like do anything like people were just like okay like you're probably not a threat if you're being truthful and you're getting free passes is there anybody that you're hoping to see win this game not at all. Um, <laughs> I really wish all of them would lose. No. Um, right now, it's like, I obviously, like, I love Lauren. So, like, Lauren would be great. I would like to know if Lauren was, like, doing more than just, like, shooting the shit with me all day. <laughs> so, Lauren's, like, my gut reaction uh, Jonah, I think would be a really good winner, like flip flopping in the middle, like good for you. That's kind of why I left Jonah the legacy advantage because I was like, I don't know that Lauren's going to be able to do anything with it. And I think Alex will get targeted well before then. I mean, so will Jonah, but I think Jonah will be better at getting out of it because it's like, oh, it's like, it's Jonah, it's little Jonah. Um, so, uh, yeah, and then I'm just unclear as to the game Morgan is playing. If Morgan is playing lie to your face, stab you in the back, as long as she owns it at the end, I think she would make a great winner. I just don't know what she's done, but I'll get that information from everyone else. So I won't need to like, if she's at the end, I won't need to like grill her on it. Is there anybody you're wanting to see join the jury tonight? Also Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> um why <laughs> i mean morgan would have the best source of information for like what has happened so far and i feel like that would catch me up to speed where then i would understand more of the dynamics within the tribe and then who would be coming here next like if i know everything and then like something switches up like that'll be interesting i just don't have enough context and um I'm not really getting a good picture of the contacts with Corey and Tanner there. So it's like, that's fine. Um, I hope, I hope Marvin doesn't make it far because I don't know what he's doing aside from like having a difficult schedule and being a perennial target. So I don't really know what he's doing. Um, Chris Ann does nothing for me. She can come here next. Um, my arch nemesis Susie which she must be doing something right so like kudos to her even though like I no longer wanted to talk to her in the game like if she makes it good for her she integrated herself that's another person that I think I would reward just on the base like the information that I have so far who do you think is going to be coming to the jury next It's hard. It's hard because I don't know what happened last round. I think it's going to be Alex. It's going to be Alex or it's going to be Bruce if people were like serious about wanting to get 
big threats out. And that's why I was like, okay, everyone stop worrying about idols. Like <laughs> they're all coming home with me. So like, just, um, if that's what they want to do, like, that's kind of why I said it. It was like, everyone was just like, so hush, hush, hush about everything. It's like, I don't want this anymore. Like, I don't want you to like be scared to go after someone, go after them with like your full chest and like take a swing. And if you miss whatever, we're all going to lose this game except for one. That's true. Do you have any um, advice for somebody in the future wanting to play Inferno? Oh my God. Um, one, don't have too many advantages because you will get cocky with them. Um, if, Gosh, I guess just like, I guess assume people are lying. Like, I think what happened to me was like, I think I was too honest at the begin, or I think I gave up too much information too quickly because that was more of like the big brother player in me where it's like, I'm going to like, I'm not in any danger. So I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm doing and what I'm thinking. And I think that that probably somewhere along the line got used against me. And I just trusted people I shouldn't have trusted. So like, I guess keep your information close to your chest because the people still in the game, I knew nothing of their actual plans. Hypothetically speaking, following obvious schedule conflicts and real life stuff that could come up, if you were to be invited to play again, would you accept the invitation? I think I likely would. I think it's it's always fun to to try it again, right? To right your wrongs, do things differently and see if you can do them better. So I'd be hard pressed to say no. Do you have any advice for us on production that you felt um, constructively, obviously, that we could do better? <laughs> um, no, I think that this season felt like, I think there were just a lot of advantages and I think that we saw a style of gameplay that mirrored that where people would not, like, it was hard to have any type of plan going I, just from my perspective, maybe someone's out there killing it. Um, but from my perspective, it was always hard. Even when like, I knew where the advantages and the idols were, it was frustrating to, to be like, don't worry about it. I know where everything is because I feel like everyone thought there were just so many you just didn't know. So like maybe next time you just put like nothing in the game and make everyone think there's something in the game. Um, it would just be interesting, but that's like, it's just going to be season by season for y'all. So that, that was the nature of ours. So right. no, bi no big critiques, despite my complaining for the whole <laughs> beginning of it. Any, any final thoughts before I stop the recording? Um, no, I mean, I had a good time. I'm excited to see who wins. Um, and yeah, I think there, I think there's a lot of good players that are still left that would make good winners. Okay, cool. Yeah.